But dude, honestly, my number one goal is to brainwash the world. I want to wash their brain and I want to brainwash them to raise their standard, mm -hmm. create human excellence and be an example for everybody. All change starts with the truth. And the problem is nobody wants to hear the truth anymore. Why did it take 39 years till 2019 to figure out what you just said? Like, like, was it the wrong information? Did you have the wrong information? Was it you were hanging out with the wrong people that whole time? Like, why Why did it take so long for you to freaking 180? Okay, same thing with me, same thing with you, same thing with everybody. I didn't want to hear the truth. Mm. I didn't want to hear the truth. Yeah. My wife told me it's time to stop traveling. Babe, what do you mean? We're on fire right now. Yeah. The kids need you. I need you. The team needs you. We need you here. But babe, see, the butt part? Yeah. I did that for 39 years. I told you, my wife said she's learned to live without me, mm -hmm. which was the truth. Yep. I was not present. The greatest superpower that a human being can have is being present. I know you probably won't believe this, but if you grab my phone, it's, I, I, I don't have any social media on my phone. Mm -hmm. Let me explain this again. I don't have Instagram. I don't have Facebook, I don't have YouTube, I don't have LinkedIn, and I don't have TikTok. I have zero social media on my phone. Mm. And we get 100 to 150 million views every 30 days. You know why? Because I know I'm an addictive person. And that, I have a team that runs that for me. Mm. I am the content. I create my shit. And then they, they are leaders. They put it out there. I'm telling you right now, when I started blowing up on social media, I was addicted to watching those numbers, those views. I know your wife knows. Mm -hmm. She's like, I know. See, but if she told you to delete all your social media right now, you'd be like, yeah, babe, but no, delete it. Get rid of every bit of it. Mm -hmm. You got a team to run it for you. Why do you need to be on there? Why? I'm very rarely on there. But no, to yeah. feed your own ego. Mm -hmm. And that's what I learned. Yeah, I learned that I was literally for 39 years wanting to do things my way. And so like, why did it take 39 years? I didn't want to hear the truth. Anybody right now want to become a multimillionaire? Do me a favor. Listen to the truth. Mm. All change starts with the truth. And the problem is nobody wants to hear the truth anymore. Mm. They don't want to hear the truth because the truth hurts. But the truth is the only way for you to build the life that you really want. Mm -hmm. They say discipline is, is hard. Regret's fucking hard. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest thing ever. Dude, I, I dropped this social media reel the other day because I was in this, uh, I was in this, uh, I was in this mastermind. We we're in Cabo mm -hmm. and I just lost it for a minute. And I just said, dude, I was like, nobody, and I'll be very, I said, nobody's going to my wife better than me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody's going to be a better father to my children than me. Nobody's going to be a better leader than my company than me. Nobody is literally going to work out with my workout partner harder than me. Nobody's going to do any of this better than me. And that is my job when I'm here, that the people that, that believe in me, for me to give everything that I have. So on the day that they bury me in the ground, I ain't letting no one come replace me. I'm going to live on. I'm going to make history. I'm going to be a legend. Yep. And so like, I want you to think about that, right? When I'm doing things during the day, I'm thinking about my wife. Like, is this the greatest anyone could ever do it for her? Is this the greatest anyone could ever do this for my team? Mm. Dude, I am telling you, like, I think about these things. I'm so aware. And by the way, growth starts with self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Winners look in the mirror and own their shit and losers give it away. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Right? Yep. Do winners love to be critiqued? Losers hate it. The truth is the only way to be great. And so everyone right now, we're changing millions of people's lives. Mm -hmm. None of them get a life change until... They own the truth mm. and they get honest with themselves. Honestly, right? Yep. Like, like, is there another level for you for your wife? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah, 100%. Bring it. 
See, mm -hmm. bring it. And what is there another level for you guys financially? Mm -hmm. Bring it. Can you? It's like there's all these other levels, but we can't get them until we get brutally honest with ourselves. So I think that's why our brand has been blown up. And honestly, dude, either you hate me or you love me. Yeah. But I will tell you this, okay? You may hate me now. Marketing is the right message to the right person at the right time. Mm -hmm. So if I tell someone about health and they're like, oh man, screw this guy. I'm going to quit. I'm going to unfollow him because I'm sick of his six pack of your fired standard shit. Yep. Right? Okay, cool. When you get diagnosed with diabetes and your doctor goes, you're either going to get healthy or you're going to die with diabetes or you're going to be on medication and this is going to happen. What are you going to say? I'm going to go follow Andy. Oh, I'm <laughs> going to get healthy. Damn. I've been yeah. saying that yep. forever. Right? Yeah. Like, like, okay. What, what about your kids? Mm -hmm. You know, do you love your kids? Okay, cool. Whose job is it to motivate your family? Yours. Whose Yours, right? Yeah. Cool. You're so busy on work. You're doing all this shit. You know, your wife's doing her thing. What about you're in there motivating the sales team all the time, right? Mm -hmm. What Do you think she wants to get motivated? Mm -mm. Well, she does. But she in does. A, in a what different if she way. came in and goes, yeah. hey, babe, Dave, the neighbor, really has been motivating me every day mm -hmm. on my way out to the car. He's been, he's been really teaching me things that he's learning. You're like, Dave, the hell are you talking about, yeah. dude? Yeah. That's my deal. She goes, well, you ain't doing it. Dude, I was, I was, I was feeding all the wrong things, and I, that's why I wasn't growing. Dude, there's this running on a treadmill mentality, which means if you don't face honesty, you're gonna run on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did I get off the treadmill? How did I start going uphill? Well, how did I do it? It's easy. I started, I started facing the truth. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love the truth and I love honesty. But anyways, that's how we've grown our business. That's how my team has this cult-like loyalty. Literally, like I told my team, I'm like, guys, I don't want to be there with you when you're just cashing checks and making money. I want to be there with you when it's hard. Austin, mm -hmm. if you got a problem going on in your life, I'm the first to know. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit what it is. I want to be with you when it's harder, better than when it's easier. And so my company and my team, like, I want to suffer with them. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're building this thing that's being crazy, man. Like, you know, you're talking about Danny and these guys. Like, that's why, that's why. And these guys are young. Dude, I'm building these guys that are, that are 18 to 25 years old. Now, if you're older and you're like me, like, dude, like going home and like, you know, like not being present with your family and working for 20 years, like everybody can relate with that. Right? Yeah. And dude, when my wife was like, hey, we learned to live without you. Like, dude, like, I'm like, dude, screw you. I, I came from nothing. I'm successful. What are you talking about? The fact is, is there another level in me? Yes or no? Yes. And this woman's trying to bring it out and I'm pissed off. Mm -hmm. Dude, if someone believes in you, should you slap them in the face? Mm -hmm. You know, like if somebody believes in you, should you say, hey, there ain't no more, man. I'm maxed out. Back off. Or should you say, man, I've been waiting my whole life for someone to push me and believe in me. And see, that's all I do. All I tell people is that you're capable of way more. And all I do every day to myself is I wake up and I'm like looking for the holes in my game. Mm -hmm. So I'm all about consistency. I'm all about routines. And by the way, if I get thrown off of an, on a routine for any way, shape, or reason, I get back on lightning fast. I'm real careful who I have around me. Mm -hmm. um, you got to have a good mind. You got to have a good heart. That's super important. The heart's probably the most important thing around me. Um, I crave love. I crave it. I crave these chemicals when I, when I, when I'm being good to myself and I'm being good to people that our body releases like oxytocin, serotonin, dopamine rushes. I don't get them from social media. I get them from like helping other people. Mm. I love that shit, man. You know, these chemicals, like they run through yeah. your body, right? It's an unlimited supply of crack that your body gives you for being a good person and raising your standard. Mm. And so anyways, man, like, I'm just like, I'm just running the play. We got a coaching company. You know, we just do sales and leadership. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we have 500,000 individuals. We got 10,000 companies. Dude, our churn rate is nothing. I mean, 90% of last year, all of our clients stayed on 90%. Our churn rate is nothing. Um, you know, people are always going to give up on themselves at some point. Someone's going to talk them out of what they want. Mm -hmm. But dude, honestly, my number one goal is to brainwash the world. I want to wash their brain and I want to brainwash them to raise their standard, mm -hmm. create human excellence and be an example for everybody. And the deal is, is that they don't have to have money. Like anybody can go today and like change their mind. Like mm -hmm. you can just recreate and you can do it actually really quick. 
That's why I said we're in an era right now where the, I said the God of this generation is comfort. So everybody's so comfortable. So like, dude, it's easy to beat everybody. You know, you know, yeah. winners beat losers and legends beat winners. It's like, if you want to be great, like you, you go to be the legend mm -hmm. and I'm building legends like Tony Robbins. There was a, uh, a deal on uh, social on uh, we, he had his big uh, training mm -hmm. with a, a couple million people, um, his big event, the game has changed yep. event. Right. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Yep. And he gave me a shout out mm -hmm. um, and he said, Hey Andy, you know, built this hundred million dollar company, this thing. I remember when I was a W2 employee and I quit my job and I bought the broker blueprint training for three grand. Mm. Uh, and, and I want to tell you how weak I was. After I took the training for 30 days, it was a 30 day money back guarantee. I asked my wife how to get my money back. And my wife goes, are you serious? And she goes, did you get three grand of value? And I go, yeah, but you know, like we can get our money back and I learned it. And she's like, do you know what karma is? And I'm like, yeah. But she's like, do you, are you going to be the customer you want? Like when you go do what they taught you, mm -hmm. do you want everyone to, to charge back? You want cancellations? I'm like, no. She's like, don't be a piece of shit. Mm. I'm actually, for the first time in my life these last five years, I have a good core. For 39 years, I wanted to make money. I had the wrong intentions. And internally, my core wasn't that good. I was never around a good leader. So when my wife decided to be honest with me and say, your standards aren't really that great. You're really good at sales, Andy. You're really good at talking. You're a hard worker, but your core isn't as good as it can be. And you can get mad at me or you can get great. Mm. And I chose to get great. And I literally would tell you, that's why I said, why 39 years? I didn't want to face the truth. Yeah. Anytime that woman would say anything to me and I knew it was the truth, I would just get mad. I would say, why are you being an egg? Like I'm doing this, but you know, like, like, isn't that enough? It's like, dude, biggest cop out excuse ever. And my wife was waiting for me to be great. And that's why she supports me now. Mm. That's why she, you know, she, and by the way, she became an, an animal because I became an animal mm. and that's the leader. That's the male in the house. When, when, when the man gets his shit together, the woman gets her shit together too. And I've seen Jackie have millions of breakthroughs. And so like, anyways, yeah. on, on this, on this conversation, it's like, Hey dude, you're all made for greatness. And dude, all the shit that you've done wrong in your life, to me, you had to go through it to get you ready for what you're going to go through now. I almost went to jail. I mean, honestly, like, dude, I almost went to yeah. jail. I almost lost everything. Almost losing everything made me realize how, every, how important everything was made me want to be a better person. Mm. Dude, you got to fuck someone over to know that you never want to fuck someone over again. You got to get fucked over to know that you getting yeah. fucked over hurts so that you don't want to do that to someone else. Dude, I'm one of the greatest leaders on planet Earth today because I was one of the worst leaders on planet Earth for, for so many years. But so like when we do these podcasts, we're actually sharing information with people how they can become the greatest leaders. Sure. That's it, man. Like it's not clout with us. It's like, like people that, you know, walk up to you in an airport and go, dude, you changed my life. I watched that, that podcast, man. And that day I woke up and dude, they're, they're never the same again. Just like you, just like me. Yeah.